Hello everyone, Midspeed here with another Revive Heroes video. First of all, I just want to thank you all for the feedback on my last video, which is actually now my most viewed video of all time, and it got over 600 likes as well, which, you know, that's just insane. I mean, I never thought I'd get that type of growth and feedback on a single video before, so yeah, thanks a lot for that. When I first saw the video blowing up like it did, I was a bit confused, even though it was about something pretty major, uh, the release of the beta. But yeah, I, I later found out, obviously, Spencer shared it in the Discord twice. So it was just awesome to see that support from people. And I don't normally check stats like that on my videos, but I couldn't, you know, just ignore them, to be honest. Uh, you know, so, so yeah, thanks again for that. Now, I know it's been quite a while since I made a video, like over two weeks or something like that. But I was pretty much waiting for a certain update to happen to make a new video on. That being the friend system, so essentially being able to add a friend and join them in the game. And I was really stoked for that and looking forward to it since, you know, games are a lot more fun with friends involved, right? So on the 1st of September this month, it was said that the friend system was coming for sure on the weekend around that date, but it never actually got added. And a few days later on the 4th, the developer said, soon you'll be able to add friends and join servers they're playing on. So stay tuned for more on that. So basically, it's still being worked on, but hopefully it'll be here pretty soon. And it's a massive deal and a big update, at least to me. There is something put in place to join friends without actually adding them, though, since the developers made a server browser page where you can actually see the complete list of servers with info on what the current map being played is, how many players are in the server in total, and also something really useful, which is how many royals are facing how many nationals and vice versa, with a blue number for the royals and a red one for the nationals. And this has helped me play with a handful of friends since basically all you need to do is just go on the page, find a fairly empty server, click on the set to join button, which basically makes the play now button in your client only take you to that server or try to get into that server. Then you'd basically copy the name of the server because they all have really random names. So it's not like you can find it easily. And then you just use the find command and paste the name of the server and, you know, everyone just does that and they get in. And that method has worked well for me pretty much ever since the server browser was added. Uh, I mean, it's not always that reliable since servers do fill up pretty quickly. So if you really, you know, want to guarantee playing with friends, then you could join a completely empty server regardless of the map. And so you're not just alone with your small group or on one side only when it changes to a map that's let's say more well known more liked it'll fill up almost instantly and i've noticed that a lot with maps like victory village buccaneer bay stuff like that so yeah all in all the server browser it's been really great to use to be honest and it's helped me find some games uh, to join to help with balancing them and also to be able to play on my favorite maps without having to stay in one server enough for them to show up or having to like take a chance pressing play now randomly hoping to get on those maps and like i said it's the closest thing to play with friends right now and, and to set that up so it's pretty awesome for that as well the second major thing that's happened since i last made a video is basically when the entire revive networks database had a failure which, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Uh, it meant that they had to go back to a previous date where data was stored, which meant a reset happened on uh, Heroes. Now, depending on how much you played since the game was first playable, you could have gone back only a few levels or been reset entirely back to level 1. Uh, in my case, I went from something like 17 to 12 on my main gunner, which isn't that bad since many of us had it worse off, I'm sure. But to be honest, the reason my level went was that high, um, that it went back to a pretty high level, that was because I was pretty much the highest level out of everyone back then. And it did give me a massive advantage early on after the stat wipe. Also, if you made an account after the 28th of August, you had to re-register uh, as a result of this massive data loss problem. But yeah, thankfully it was resolved. And even though some people were annoyed to lose their levels and stuff, it was always said that we wouldn't keep our stats in progress. You know, resets would happen and it's a beta after all. Uh, something else you can do now is delete heroes, which is pretty useful if you made an extra commando you didn't want, or if you just wanted to delete one you never played or bothered with. It's also a replacement to changing a hero's name since that feature isn't actually available yet. So let's say you added an extra number on the end of your name. You didn't spell it right. You didn't like some symbols you put in it, something like that. Um, you know, you can at least delete that hero, remake it, rename it, which I think is pretty handy. 
Now, I also got given this information today uh, by Bixie, so thanks to him. Basically, this is from the FAQ section of the Discord, and I never really checked this, but it has a lot of questions answered that I obviously never covered before, so I think it's pretty pretty important to bring up here, actually. So I'll just read some of them out, some of the more interesting ones to me. Uh, what about the servers? At the beginning, we'll host our own servers. Later on, we'll make an opportunity for the players to host their own servers. What version of the game will we be able to play? The game version is unsure for the moment, but we'll try to get into the latest one. What about new stuff? We're unsure at the moment, but we want to try something new by implementing stuff made by us. If you have any ideas, be sure to write them on our forums in the suggestions section. What about the overpowered weapons? If we see a weapon is too overpowered, we'll get a way to deal with it. So yeah guys, pretty interesting and I'm definitely pleased with all of these answers. Though I'm most interested in getting my own server actually because I never did that back in the day and it's something I've always wanted to do. You know, being able to set your own maps you want to play on, um, you know, your own rules, your own environment. You know, it's it's pretty interesting to me and I, I'm, pr you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to do that in time. So yeah, uh, that was all the news on Revive Heroes since my last video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the random gameplay and found this interesting. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.